Λόματι της δυνάμεως αυτού, Ανάσταση Χριστού Θεάς αμένη, προσκυνήσομεν Άγιον Κύριον, Ήσουν το μόνον αναμάρτητον. Glory to you, O giver of love, glory to God in the highest, and on earth be God well among all people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you. Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the word of mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world, forever into the ages of ages. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Only you are the Holy Lord, have mercy. Only you are the Lord Jesus Lord, have mercy. To the glory of God Lord, have mercy. Father, amen. Every day will I bless you. Lord, have mercy. I will praise your name forever. <laughs> To the ages of ages. For you are the God of mercies and love for mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Peace be with you, Edini Basi. To you, O Lord, let us pray to the Lord. O Holy Lord, you dwell on high, and you see the things below. You look upon all creation with your overseeing eye. We bow our soul and body and we pray to you, O Holy of Holies, extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you, our God, show mercy to us and save us, and you we glorify the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Blessed is Christ our God, always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Teach me your commandments. You glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. From one generation to the next, I cry out. Glory to your Lord, have Lord of mercy. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. Heal my soul. May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy on us and save us. Through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the holy, glorious, and all praise of the apostles, of St. Mark the Evangelist, of the three hierarchs, St. Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Christum, whose memory we commemorate today and of all your saints. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy upon us and save us. Amen. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom. Forever into the ages of ages.
Oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. to you all as we begin we just heard the beautiful words that concludes the authoros a beautiful hymn Simonon di Sotirias salvation today has come to all the world so when we begin the services on Sundays we celebrate the resurrection so today through the resurrection of Christ salvation has come to all people and that's what we pray for today so let us all pray with our hearts open although we're gonna be a little smaller because of our festival we're gonna pray for those who couldn't be here and we're gonna ask our Lord to send their mercies upon them for those of you who are watching from home if you would like to light a candle you can go to stmarkboca.net and click on light a candle in the upper right hand corner Gerard is already here ready to light that candle and offer your prayer let us all enter into the joy of the Lord today because salvation begins now Master give the blessing Evroyimani Vasilia tu patros ke tu yu ke tu ayu pnevma tos nin ke ai ke istu se onas to ne onon Amen Enini tu kiriu deithomen Τη σαν οθενηρίνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, Lord our God, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the perils of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren and those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists and first responders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, 
have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and everything within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and forget not all His rewards. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, The Lord prepared His throne in the heaven, and His kingdom ruleth over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come and our most holy, Lord, pure, God, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For yours is dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I have breath. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, the Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us to sing to you, alleluia. The Lord reigns until the ages of ages. You go to Zion from one generation to the next. So shone he O Anastasia Knekron, Salon Dasi, Alleluia. Doxa Patrike, O, Che ai o Pneumati, Che ninche ai, Che isti sona sone o non ami. O mondo genisi, O che logos di Teo, A tarda dosi parcon, Although we are not summoned, you humbled yourself for our salvation, taking flesh by the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming man, Christ our God. You were crucified, but conquered death by death. As one of the Holy Trinity glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, to save us. Sazomenos to patri, que to agio plemati, so son ima. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us. Save us, have mercy Lord, upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Come, and our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For you are a good 
good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 God, you establish the world. The archangels sing your glory. Thank you for the angels of the angels. We may serve and glorify your goodness. To the Lord, we are to worship Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the age of age. Amen. Paradise, you transform us. Sophia, Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, who is risen from the dead. Oh, the Lord, to so 
Το πατρί και του Υιό και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ίν και αΐ Και στους αιώνας των αιώνων Let us pray the Lord O Holy God, you dwell among your saints who are praised by the seraphim of the Christ holy hymn and glorified by the cherubim and worshipped by all the heavenly powers You have brought all things out of nothing into being You have created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance of the way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and to worship you with praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. By the intercession of the Holy Theotokos, who have pleased you throughout the ages, for you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Holy Mortal, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, give the bid. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you in the glorious of the kingdom who is seated upon the chairman. Always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Their voice has gone out into all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Bless Father, Herald, Brethren, the Gospel, the Apostle, obey your Matthew. leaders and submit to them, Amen. for they are Amen. keeping Amen. watch over your Maybe souls your as word. men who will have to give account. Let them do this joyfully and not sadly, for that would be of no advantage to you. Pray for us, for we are sure that we have a clear conscience, desiring to act honorably in all things. I urge you the more earnestly to do this in order that I may be restored to you the sooner. Now, may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do His will, working in you that which is pleasing in His sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Is passant the gen exil theophthongos aftou, η ουρανή διηγούνται δόξαν Θεού. Σοφία προς Εβραίους επιστολής Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα. Προσκομέν. Αδελφοί, μνημονεύετε των ηγουμένων ημών ή την εσελάλησαν ημίν το λόγο του Θεού. Ον αναθερούνται στην έκβαση της αναστροφής Μιμήστε την πίστη Ιησούς Χριστός χθε και σήμερα ο Αυτός και εις τους αιώνας. Διδαχές ποικίλες και ξένες μην παραφέρεστε. Καλόν γάρ, χάρη τη βεβαιούστε την καρδίαν, ου βρώμαση ενείς ουκ ωφελήθησαν οι περιπατήσαντες. 
έχομεν θυσιαστήριον εξού φαγήν ούκ έχουσιν εξουσίαν ή τη σκηνή λατρεύοντας. Ον γάρ εισφέρεται ζώον το αίμα περί αμαρτίας εις τα Άγια δια του αρχιερέως τούτον τα σώματα κατακαίεται έξω της παρεμβολής. Διό και Ιησούς ή να αγιάσει δια του ιδίου αίματος των λαών έξω της πύλης έπαθεν. Τίνην εξερχόμεθα προς Αυτόν έξω της παρεμβολής των οδυνισμών αυτού φέροντες. Ούγαρ έχομεν όδε μένουσαν πόλην, αλλά την μέλουσαν επιζητούμεν. Δι' αυτού ούν αναφέρομεν θυσίαν εν έσως διαπαντός το Θεό, τούτε στην καρπών χιλέων ομολογούντων το όνομα αυτού. Της δε ευπίας, και κοινωνίας μη επιλανθάνεστε τι αυτές γαρθησίες ευαρεστείτε ο Θεός. Ειρήνη σε peace be with you the readers. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Shine with our hearts loving mass to the pure light of your divine knowledge and open our eyes, the minds, that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, are God, the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory the eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to his disciples, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid, nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Think not that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Peace be with you, the reader. O good and loving God, hear our supplication, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant and grant that with one voice we may and guarded by your power we may give you glory to the father and the son and the holy spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages <speaking in Spanish> Το πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύματι νυν και αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. No one by worthy desires, worthy to approach, draw near, or minister to you, the King of glory. 
to serve you is great and awesome, even for the angelic powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became a man without alteration or change. You have served as a high priest and as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical service without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over in all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and done among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit to invest it with the grace of priests. Let me stand before the holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. You, I come about head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me among the children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, are the one who offers and is offered, the one who receives and distributes you in glory, the eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us side aside all our worldly cares. We have Mr. Graham, the cherubim, sing the right holy hymn to life and give you trinity. Let us set aside all our worldly cares and receive the kingdom of all. Justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin and will bear me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you are broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and hold me with a willing spirit. Then I shall teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing a lot of your deliverance. For you no delight in sacrifice, were I to give up an offering, you will not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable, God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. You go to learn to the pleasure of Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullets upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. Pandonimum, ni 
Ιησύ, Κύριος ο Θεός, εν η βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε, νυν και αγί, και Ιησούς αιώνας των Svena tu carvo svoje, svada sadek i uvek, i u sve vekova. El Señor Dios te cuerde de nosotros, en su reino eternamente ora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Lord our God, remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. May the Lord remember your priesthood, Υπέρ του Ριστίνε ημάς, από πάσης θλίψεως, οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊσόν, η λαβούσον, η λαϊσόν και διαφύλαξον ημάς του Θεός της η χάρητη. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. This o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, guardian of souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Lord God Almighty, you are our God. Accept the sacrifice of all. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. And spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our lives, in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. And this O Lord, for our Christian and to our lives, peace for without shame and suffering. <coughs> 
before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. As the deacon exclaims with a beautiful word, Christ, the doors, amen. the doors, let us all be attentive. We are called to recite the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. It was first written in Nicaea in 325 and completed at the Second Ecumenical Council in Constantinople 381. So as we hear the beautiful words, let us all recite loudly the creed that we hold so dear to our heart. The doors. the doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and for the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovu, proskumen tina yenana foran, enirini prosferi. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Anos let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is, <coughs> it is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you in all places of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever, and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. 
you do not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, we too, merciful Master, proclaim and say, you are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands. He gave thanks, he blessed, he consecrated. He sanctified and he broke it. And he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering therefore this command of the Savior and all that came to pass, for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious, coming again we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts and all and for all once again we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood and we ask pray and entreat you send down your holy spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy Changing gifts. them for the, by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer the spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Παναγίας αχράντου υπέρ ευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσπίνης ημών Θεοτόπου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίου 
and grant them rest. I got the light of your countenance shines again. We ask, Lord, you remember poor Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth, all deacons and priests in the service of Christ and everyone in holy orders. We also offer to you the spiritual worship of the whole world for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those living in purity and holiness, for those in public service, for the Lord, the servant, government, and peace. That for the faithful conduct of their duties, will be peaceful and serene life, all piety and holiness. Alexios, grant that he may serve the churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people, and all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches and who care for the poor and send your mercy upon us all and upon these, your servants, for those enduring religious persecution throughout the world, for peace, O Lord, in the world. We pray, O Lord, for Eleni, Ron Lubov, Steve, Denise, Gus, George, Sergio, Rita, Jason, Helen, Tarsi, George, Charles, Gail, Paul, Gina, Howard, Francesca, Costa, Mitchell, Maria, Luca, Eleni, Georgia, Lani, Georgia, Frosini, Maria, John, Lani, Michael, John, Emmanuel, Catherine, Kipros, Allen, and for those battling the COVID-19 virus. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Good morning. I welcome all of you with much love and joy in our Lord. First and foremost, I welcome our visitors here with us at our St. Mark Church. It's always such a blessing to have our faithful visiting, especially during the festival weekend. We always seem to have other people come to experience the faith. A reminder that our Discover Orthodoxy class takes place this Tuesday and will run for five weeks. Our Discover Orthodoxy class is a great introduction to the faith for those wanting to become Orthodox Christians, but it's also a great reminder of our faith, a great refresher of our faith, and it helps us to learn more about our faith. I believe all of us, even if we were baptized and chrismated as a young child, can always learn more about our faith. Father Alex and Jamie, our catechist, do such a great job with Marlene always offering it. I want to speak to you this morning briefly during the What We Believe because we're during entering a feast of our church, not today, but this period. And the feast draws us near to something very special. And that feast, of course, is the presentation of Christ into the temple. Now, I'll start by reading the beautiful hymn that we read today. Through your birth, O Christ, you have sanctified the virgin's womb, and fittingly, you have blessed the hands of Simeon. And now on this day, you have come bringing salvation to us all. At the beginning of liturgy, I spoke that we have the hymn that we sing, Simeon Tisotidias, today salvation comes to all the world. And now we hear in this beautiful hymn of the presentation of Christ that through Christ's coming and being held by the righteous arms of Simeon, salvation now enters the world. So, if you think back to the righteous Simeon, Simeon was an elder, was an Old Testament scholar, historian, faithful hire, uh, a clergyman. He was in the temple 
he was one of the 70 that was chosen to translate the Bible from Hebrew to Greek. Because back then they all spoke Greek and that was important. So he translated the Bible from Hebrew to Greek. Now, the tradition tells us that at the time that he was translating the beautiful book of Isaiah that says, and behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a child. He thought to himself, how can a virgin conceive and bear a child? This must be wrong. So he went to scratch it out and to put a woman. And as he's about to do that, tradition tells us an angel of the Lord came and said, no, Simeon, you are wrong. It is not a woman that will conceive, but rather a virgin shall conceive, and she will hold Christ in her womb. Now fast forward many years to the birth of Christ. Christ came into the world. Christ then was brought on the 40th day to the temple, as was the tradition of the time. And as he brought himself to the temple, who was the high priest in the temple? Simeon. And thus, Simeon held Christ in his hands. And he said the beautiful prayer, my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light to the revelation of Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. He held Christ in his hands in the temple and thus salvation through the Virgin Mary, through Simeon, through all of these great wonderful figures of the church comes into the world blessing us. And now we have that opportunity to grow closer to Jesus Christ. We have that opportunity to walk toward his kingdom You hear me say that the liturgy is always a procession, a progression. We walk toward the holy altar. We walk toward unity. We walk toward salvation. And all of us here are given this wonderful opportunity. So let us all truly recognize the greatness of Jesus Christ coming into the world that we too can hold in our hands, in our hearts, in our souls, in our minds, Jesus Christ, the salvation of all. O Lord, now let your servant depart in peace, Simeon said, because he was an old man. He was ready to die. Because my eyes have seen your salvation, Jesus Christ, now and always and to the ages of ages. Amen. Having commembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted it as holy, celestial, and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace. And the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. <laughs> Με τα παρησίας ακατακρίτως τολμάν επικαλείς εσέ τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής αιαστήτου το όνομά σου ελθέτου η βασιλεία σου γεννηθήτου του θέλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της ζης τον άρτου ημών τον επιούσιο δώσ' ημιν σήμερα και άρχισε ημιν τα οφελήματα ημών Ως και εμείς ευχήμεν τους φελέτες ημών, και εμείς ενέγεις ημάς εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσσε ημάς από το πονηρού. Be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Bow our heads.
thanks to the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your infinite power you created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those of us who have bowed our heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit. According to the need of each of us, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us be attentive for all schoolmen. For the holy people of God, Master the Lamb Lord. of God is broken and distributed, broken yet not divided, forever eaten yet never consumed. Sanctify those who partake of him. Night. Jesus Christos Nika. Jesus Christ conquers. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas. But as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Forgive me a sin. Behold, I draw near to Jesus Christ, our mortal King, our Lord, and our God. Breast of holy and light, King, body of our Lord, Savior, King, God, Jesus Christ, is given unto me, Demetrius the priest, for to give my sins and life everlasting. This is one of the true 
messages we have before us today. This gospel reading that says, let your light shine so bright before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven is one who has prescribed a reading that is read on the day we commemorate the holy hierarchs and saints that were bishops. So today on this great feast day, we remember three holy lights, three holy lamps that shone so bright and continue to illumine our orthodox path even to this day. These three great lights are the following figures and saints. Saint Basil the Great. Saint Basil the Great being the man of great faith who brought forth to us several things that we still receive to this day. Whether they be a hospital extent. He also provided for us rules of monasticism, some of the early structure of monasticism that we have today. Also, he was a great philanthropic leader. He also has great discourses and works that survive to this day. If you are interested and able, these three saints have great works that are available for us all to read today. If you want to know more about the Holy Spirit, St. Basil the Great writes on this in a very succinct way. I saw one of our faithful come and borrow this from our church library recently. We also have St. Gregory the Theologian, one that speaks truly to my heart, one that I learned of in my first class ever at seminary. And a great example of the priesthood, this man also has surviving works to this day. He was a great orator, one that offered prolific speeches and offered on the faith. But truly at this time in the world, there were struggles and there was a primary movement against the church known as Arianism. Father Mark mentioned earlier the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. The ecumenical council that occurred in the year 325 in Nicaea, these men were there present, holding up the doctrine of faith and trying to bring an answer to that which was going against the church. Holding true this doctrine of our Orthodox faith that we receive in full today. These great men of faith continued to shine forth before us all. And as a great blessing, their light continues to shine. And St. John Chrysostom, whose liturgy we celebrate today and most Sundays throughout the year, is one that we as priests look to in our archdiocese. It's a great blessing because we know that Father Mark is very involved in the Presbyter's Council here in the Archdiocese, but these other men of great faith, over 250 years of priestly service before us in the Holy Altar today, also served as the guiding priest in this council many years ago. And so, just as these saints are those who adorn the walls in the Holy Altar, you see them depicted separately here in the images behind me. These men hold up the doctrines of the faith. These men are the lights that we continue to see. These men, these saints, are great figures and illuminaries. And these men that stand before us and guide us in the faith, these priests that we know as our spiritual fathers, they hold us up they shine so bright. It is not because their vestments are white and gold. It is because their hearts are aflame with the Holy Spirit and therefore their soul shines brightly before us. And so we read in today's hymn for the three holy hierarchs that they are three magnificent luminaries of the tri-solar Godhead 
This referring to that they brought forth from their hearts, from their intellect, from their whole being, the purpose and meaning of the Holy Trinity. Three persons in one Godhead and shown forth as rays of divine doctrine. My brothers and sisters, we have the blessing today and this weekend to be luminaries once again. Our Greek festival is not just an opportunity to share of our culture. It is a great witness that we have to share of our faith. I've been blessed to see so many eager souls come through our St. Mark Sanctuary and to inquire, to show attentiveness, and to learn of what we, as Orthodox Christians, have as the light in our lives. We continue to witness this same light on our holy altar table that never goes out. That same light that is the light of the world from Pascha that stays aflame from this day and forevermore. Yes, at times we do have distress, we struggle, and we need comfort. We need a pick-me-up somehow, and we look to our Lord for strength. And I can tell you that one of the great joys of the priesthood is when we can go visit people, see them in their times of need, even to the time of the end of their lives. And it can be a struggle at times. And sometimes the greatest blessing that I have is not the warmth that I feel from the South Florida sun. It's when I'm driving back to church and from quite a distance, I see over all the trees, all of the buildings, our gold St. Mark sanctuary, our gold domes that welcome all to know that this is truly a place of light, a place of refreshment and a place of comfort, a place that welcomes all to receive the light of Christ. And so, my brothers and sisters, I implore you today to show your light, to shine your light, and as we prepare to see receive Holy Communion, let these gifts that are here consecrated and are now indwelling in you to be shared with one another, to be lights that bring this same hymn and prayer that your light may illumine the world and that you may bring forth the great teachings of our church. So again, we learn from today's Gospel reading and I share with you in closing. Let your light shine so bright before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Metaphor with the peace que haya peace proselfete, with the fear of God, with faith, and with love draw near. Yes.
and loan so save oh God your people and bless your inheritance we have seen the true Lord we have received the heavenly spirit we have been the true faith worshiping the only God in earth be exalted of heaven to glory be over all the earth be exalted of God above heaven to glory be over all the earth blessed is our God now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creos, and mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that you on this day have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path, establish us firmly in your fear, guard our lives and make our endeavor safe 
through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we offer glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Prayerful man, let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you we offer thanksgiving and glory and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord, for and in the ages. To no makiri we have logi manon, apotunin, geos to her Let us pray to the Lord. For your mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God who rose from the dead is a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, most revered apostles of Joy Kimenana, of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous answers of God, Joy Kimenana, of the three hierarchs we celebrate today, Basil the Great, Gregory the, the, the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, and of all your saints. Have mercy upon us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Diet contuna yum paterni mon kirius su Christe o teos eres son que sos son imas. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. As we celebrate this beautiful day, as you come forward, we are going to ask you to actually depart from this side of the church so that you can go enter. The festival is not open to 12 o'clock. However, for those of you who are working, let's get to work. For those of you who are here, you may go into the hall and in the hall I've asked our Lucamades booth to come a little early which they did today at 6.15 and started making Lucamades so for our faithful who came to church and we'll have some coffee in there and at 12 o'clock the doors will open for our festival. May our Lord bless you. I'll ask Father Alexander and Father Jim to offer the Andidron today and again as a reminder come forth and leave through that door. May God bless you all. Bless you. Good morning. How's your mom doing? Terrific. Thank you for Good. Give her. Good morning. God bless you. 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 How are you? Do you want one? Good girl. 
Good morning. God bless you. Here you go. That's for you. Good. Good morning. God bless you. 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 Can I have one more?